Sorry in advance if you're watching this video and you hear the fly that's flying around. I'm sorry, my mom told me to close the door and I didn't do it and the fly got in. Just, oh. Jeez. Just, I want you to speak from your heart and don't feel too... It's not crazy. Don't feel too, um, like you rehearsed it. Don't be nervous to just talk. And you're telling a story that you know, so just tell the story. I know, but I want to hit all my highlights. All right. I, would try, I believe in you. Hi, I'm Shannon's mom, and um, I've wanted to make a video about this for a really long time, but I just wasn't sure what to say or how to do it, but I wanted to do it to, you know, help parents or other people who are like her or have been in her situation. I saw the video that she made called A Letter to You. I just thought that was you know, really enlightening for me to see what was going on with her at the time. And that really made me think more about, you know, doing a video. What happened with Shannon was in high school, one of her friend's moms called me and she said, I heard Shannon and this other girl talk about kissing each other. And so we're really concerned about that. and. You know, we want to know if you could meet with us and talk about that. I talked to Shannon's dad, and so we met with that couple. They were really freaked out about this. We are just like, well, that's, that's just news to us. You know, I did, didn't expect anything like that. I never thought about that at all. So her dad and I uh, talked afterward. You know, I just said, well, I don't know. Maybe, maybe she is gay. I don't know. I never really considered that. And he just said, well, maybe they're just, um, you know, being experimental, you know, how girls are. Tried to get her to talk about it, but she was really closed about it and wouldn't share anything about it. The next summer, when she was home from college, I sat down with her and I said, so what's going on with that, you know, that thing that we talked about before? And she just, she just said, Mom, I have to tell you I'm gay. So, we had, you know, an emotional moment, and we just hugged each other. I just told her that, you know, there's nothing that she could ever tell me, or there's nothing about her that would ever make me not love her. So, you know, we, we got through that and, you know, I just, the only things that came to mind were like, I just hope that nobody ever hurts her, like either physically or verbally, you know, or in, or in any way. That just doesn't matter to me. She's just a great person and you know, a wonderful human being and she's my daughter and I just love her. It doesn't matter. I just wanted to do this because I know that there are other people out there that are dealing with this and I think it takes a long time for somebody to recognize that about themselves and and then, you know, to accept that for themselves, that that is who they are and then to be brave enough to share that with somebody and I think for a lot of people the first person that they probably share that with is their parent or person who takes care of them or you know somebody close to them and I just hope that if you're that person that you just you know ex accept them and love them and let them know that that really doesn't matter you know they're just a great person and just who they are and that's just a small piece of who they are which is important because you're their foundation and if the person who is their main foundation you know can't love and accept them and just imagine how hard that will be for them to you know face the world or anybody else with that with their story i read a lot of shannon's uh, responses and it does seem like religion comes up a lot and that's really a difficult thing to navigate but I just think that if anything about your religion causes you to turn away from your child or not love your child I, I just 
just think you really need to think about that. When you share that with your parent or your loved one, just know that, just think about how long it took you to accept that for yourself and understand that. And when you do share that with somebody, just understand that you might be taking them by surprise. And even if they don't react in a positive way right away, that doesn't mean that they won't change and that, that they won't come around and um, you know, be more accepting and understanding about that. You might have to give them some time. Uh, those were just some thoughts I had. And I, I just really, you know, care about Shannon and I care about the, the people who watch her and follow her and are going through, you know, a lot of the same things that she went through. And, you know, there are a lot of people out there who will be supportive of you, um, even if you don't get that right away. So anyway, I just wanted to let you know that and let you know I'm thinking about you. And, um, just take your time when you're ready. And, um, just be who you are and be happy. I'm so much bigger than you. I know you are. It's really not fair. I know, that's what I say. It's not fair. Okay, bye guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. What a sweet mama I have. I love you. Thank, Thank you. you. Okay, we don't have to kiss on lips. It's I know she doesn't like that. <laughs> We love you guys. I'm lucky she's my mom. Okay. You gonna cry? Don't get me started. <laughs>